Um, I really don't care about the election. I really just wanted to vote for Bernie. And your name is? Denise. It's iffy, iffy. Because I, on a real, I like Hillary Clinton as a spokesperson more than a president. Donald Trump, he don't hear my vote at all. Rachel Keller. I'm 21. I think the two candidates, I think overall people are unhappy about the candidates. Uh, Brian Carter. And can you tell us about the DNC experience? So, um, my experience at the DNC, I feel as though it was unique because I was a blank slate walking into the space, especially as a media outlet. Um, Jasmine McCoy. And how old are you, Jasmine? 25. Um, how do you feel about the election? I'm a little disappointed because the person that I want to vote for didn't really make it. I would have voted for Bernie Sanders. I'm now going to have to vote for Hillary because obviously I can't vote for Trump. The activists that were down there protesting to the Bernie Sanders supporters, also protesting the corruption of the Democratic National Convention, and just seeing how Bernie Sanders was treated and also the way that the whole situation with him was just overlooked. Um, it's just a lot of different things I've taken back from it, a lot of different perspectives. Clinton, um, the Democrats, they have a lot of skeptic skepticism about her, but overall I just think we shouldn't let Donald Trump be president. What's going on, but here I am, I'm just trying to get a feel for what politics is. Everybody is telling me that this is the most serious election that we need to be a part of or, you know, that's going on, but everybody says that every four years. But but for this time, I'm a little bit more seasoned in the arena, you know, in the political, uh, the political arena. So now I'm asking myself certain questions like, what should I be looking for? What should I be documenting? You know, what's going on from day to day? Who should I be including? Who should be the people that I'm speaking to? You know, should I be just speaking to um, Democrats and Republicans and other government officials? Or should I be talking to people at the ground level? What exactly am I trying to articulate, you know, in regards to Democratic National Convention? Would you like to see the new president address? I would like to see them address them giving to the needy, help them find a place to go, take care of children. Definitely, um, like the racial tension, I think that it's not going to go away anytime soon. Obviously, there's a lot of killings of young black men and young black women, and so far it's getting worse at this point, and no one's really doing anything about it. So I think like the protests need to be. You know, it needs to go into the into the government, and they need to do something about it. Um, I guess I would have to attack the job situation. I mean, I live in Philly, and I know how hard it is to get a job. I know how hard it is for young black people to get a job, especially if you don't have an education. And it's not always our fault that we don't have an education because we didn't have the opportunities that some people had just because of our upbringing or our background or our parents weren't informed on how to get us to where we needed to be. Um, but the most that I took back from it is that we are asleep. You know, we're asleep in regards to just being uneducated, not knowing what's going on. Here we are, we, we're, we grow old as adults and we're given certain information, you know, how to, how to bathe ourselves, how to tie a tie, how to wear this, how to wear that. But when it comes to industries and just spaces that we need to be well-groomed and well-rounded adults, we don't have that. Like, why don't we have financial literacy? Why don't we have, um, why don't we have education in regards to public, um, public policy education? What about law enforcement? And once I started seeing that I had a vacancy within myself in regards to this, these types of information or, or in regards to this type of information, that's when it compelled me to start really investigating, like, what is it that the people want to know about the Democratic National Convention? What would a person want to know that doesn't know anything about politics? What would they take back? And what is the narrative of a person that is, you know, a, a, you know when it comes to political science, you know, what is... What is their narrative in that vacancy? You know, what is the narrative of the empty vote? And that's where I'm at with it. What is the narrative of the empty vote? You're, 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 you're charading around. You're trying to get me involved with the political process or whatnot, but you only want me to vote for you. You're not going into detail, it's, you know, regarding the specifics of my everyday struggle. I hear that you're mentioning uh, creating new jobs, but what type of new jobs? What type of quality jobs? Um, 
and then do you really care about me? Because I'm I'm looking at the, I'm just looking at the the historical uh, um, importance of political science. I'm looking at the historical po uh, importance of public policy. I'm looking at the civil rights movement. I'm looking at the fact that we've been you know we fought for our right to vote. But then what does it mean 45 years later? What does it really mean? So um, for me, my experience at the Democratic National Convention was like a, a veil taken from over my eyes. I see the, the world a lot better. Um, and I feel so now that my narrative is a lot more important because there are other like-minded men and women, no matter what color you are, that share that, that foundation of ignorance. They just don't know about public policy. They don't know about law enforcement. They don't know about political science. So why should this election mean anything to them when it's not somebody that they naturally understand. So, you know. Uh, 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 different, different, different issues, different issues that concern.